Good evening, my lovelies, my lovely queens and kings. It is Queen Akina here with an update inside of Queendom Culture. So, in the last episode of Queendom Culture, I I um I showed you this, which is the latest window treatment that I'm doing for the spring. Um, I told you, I think I recommend that you change your environment uh, every season. Actually, if we were able to travel and it wasn't a pandemic, I also recommend that you travel every season. Doesn't have to be far. It could be, you know, somewhere, uh, Maryland, D.C., a couple, you know, not too far from here, but shifting with the season really does something for your soul. So in any case, this is my spring um, season window treatment. And it probably will stay similar for the summer. I may do something a little lighter or a little twist to it because it's a new season. And it, hopefully it'll be really, really hot. Um, and it will necessitate, I mean, mandate that I have to put on a sheer a curtain or take something off. In any case, it's spring. And this is for spring. So I showed you the elements. I showed you that I was going to be using three elements. I have my beautiful faux tiger lilies, which I simply adore, especially when they are real. The scent is uh, hypnotic, to say the least. But these are faux, and I put them inside of the golden branches that I discovered a few months ago. And this lovely black and gold vase, which I'm going to lift up, but I can't do too far because the, um, the, okay, let me see if I can get it. The, um, branches are rather tall but if you recall had this beautiful gold um vase with a black base that had like a wood grain texture has a wood grain texture to it and it's very um very lovely very slender and kind of elegant so i promised you that i would show you the completion of it and um so here it is I love it. It's very um, light. And, oh, I forgot. Oh, did the bird fall? So, yeah, I added one other element. I think I showed you the last time she fell. Um, I had my bird in here, my little golden bird. I have to put her back in, on her branch and her leaf um, some kind of way. But, yeah. Those were the beautiful birds that I told you that I um, I got during the holiday. And she was sitting up here lovely um, before we started. And I guess when I started moving things around, she lost her place. <laughs> In any case, I will fix that back. Um, but as I said, I'd love to keep um, a beautiful bird. There she goes. I think, love to keep a beautiful bird um, in my environment. I don't know if you can see all of that I did. Yeah, there she is, right, right there. Oh, okay, so that's not working right now. I can show you the beautiful bird. Ah, that will be um, inside the tree when I get off of this uh, video. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I think if it's something we've learned in this season of, of the pandemic, I believe we've all, we should have learned anyway, the importance of um, being light, being beautiful, being appreciative of even the little things. And, um, Sometimes the things that feed you, you know, that feed your spirit and your soul are not, um, they're not big things. That's not what I want to say. What I would say is that it doesn't always have to be overt. It can be subliminal. It could be in the background. It could be light. It could be subconscious. It could be behind you. But your intentionality and putting these particulars into your environment is actually you um, 
paying attention to yourself, queen, and knowing yourself and knowing what gives you joy and makes you feel light. So that's it. That's my update. Um, I probably will add a picture of the whole thing from a distance and that'll be the end of it. Actually, it won't be the end because this is usually where I sit to speak to you. So until the next time, stay beautiful and live, queen, live. Peace.